Hello everyone. Welcome to Spring Boot OR2 security course. I hope you seen my introduction video. And then this video I am going to explain you how to create a role based access control database design schema to develop a full stack Spring Boot OR2 security application by using MySQL. We are going to see step by step to create a role based access control database schema design. The first step we are going to see your diagram and then the next step I am going to explain by using SQL scripts. And then this is the ER diagram. So look at the first table, the permission. So we have to create a permission table. It has the attributes ID and the permission name. ID is the primary key value. And then we have to create role table. The role table have ID and the role name attribute. ID is the primary column. And then we have to assign the permissions to role so i created the role underscore permission table it contains we can assign one permission to many roles same like one role contain many permissions and then we have to create a users table the users table have the set of attributes such as first name, last name, email id, password, mobile, country and then the user type. id is the primary column in users table. Now we are going to create role underscore user table. In the role underscore user table contains the records of you can assign one user to many roles same like you can assign more than one role to single user and then this is for sql scripts so first we have to create a permission and role table this is the sql script to create a permission and role table and then we have to assign a permissions to role so that's why i created their third table role underscore permission so this is the sql script i created to create a permission role and permission role underscore permission table now i am going to show you in the mysql workbench to create a table look at here i am creating a permission table and I am creating a role table and I am creating a role underscore permission table. Now I am going to write describe command. Describe permissions. I mean the permission, the table name is permission. You can find the two attributes such as ID and permission name. And then describe role. So look at here, role table contains ID and role name. And then role underscore permission table. In role underscore permission table, there is a two foreign key. One is the role ID and another one is the permission ID. The role ID references coming from the role table. Permission ID references is coming from the permission table. Next, I am going to create a users table. And then assign the users to role so i created a table called users and then i created another one table called role underscore users okay so now i am going to show you to create a users table and then the role underscore users table in the mysql workbench so look at here now i am creating a users table 
now i am creating a role underscore users table now i am going to describe the users table so look at here the users table contains the attributes such as id first name last name email id password mobile country and then the user type now i am going to describe the role underscore users table in role underscore users table you can find the attributes such as role underscore id and users underscore id role underscore id is coming from the reference of role table user underscore id is coming from the reference of users table role id and user id is the foreign key of this table okay the next one is the insert permissions to permission table so we have a list of permissions such as view permission create edit view and delete the role assign permissions to role and view permissions by role create edit view and delete the users and assign users to role and view users by role so these are the default permissions i am going to create it now so far i did not add the create edit and delete permission entry in the permissions table because it is very very important the permissions entry should take care by the developer so you don't need to give permission to any other to add new permission edit a permission or delete a permission this permissions table totally should control under by the developer this is very very important okay so that's why i am creating a default entries in the permission table here after you have to add another one permission you have to add the default insert entry that entry should add by the developer if it is a big project the devops guys will insert this entry in the permission table now i am going to insert these all the permissions in the database by using mysql workbench totally there is a 13 permissions i have 4 h 10 12 and 13 now i am going to create these 13 permissions in permission table now i am going to fetch the permissions by using a select query select star from permission select star from permission now i am going to execute this query and then you can find the list of permissions here so look at here view permission create role edit role view role delete role assign permissions to role view permissions to role create users edit users view users delete users and assign users to role and the last one is the view users by role so these are the default 13 permissions i created okay the next one i am going to create a role administrator role this administrator role i am going to assign a permissions to the role table so look at here i created a role i mean i am just inserting a new role called administrator and then those permissions i am going to assign to this role so before that i just want to make sure the role is created or not the role is created successfully look at here and then i am going to assign a permissions to role the role id is one and then we have a list of 13 permissions the permission id is starts from 1 to up to 13 now i am going to insert a 13 entries in the role underscore permission table for the same role so look at here i am going to execute these insert statements now i am going to fetch the data from the select star from role underscore permission table i am going to fetch the data from role underscore permission table now all 13 permissions is assigned to the particular role so look at here the permission id starts from 1 to 13 all the 13 permissions are assigned to the role administrator the role id is 1 the next one i am going to create a users into users table 
now i am going to create a first user called super admin the next user called the normal admin the first user the user type is a super admin he can access all the resources he don't need any roles or permissions to access the resources so the super admin guy take a full control of the application and then the normal admin user should have the role and then the role should contain the permissions then only he can access the resources so while fetching a access token from the authorization server if the user type is and super admin you can assign all you can assign the super admin role we don't need to add any permissions for this user but if the user type is an admin or other than super admin the user should contain a role and then role should have the permissions now i am going to create a users into the users table now i am going to execute the users insert statement into the users table now i am going to fetch the data from the users table by using a command select star from users passwords are encrypted i am going to use the bcrypt encryptor to store the password so that's why i added the bcrypt string in the password field so look at here there is two records are created the first record the user type is super admin the next one is the normal admin the next one i am going to assign the users to role we created their role called administrator the role id is 1 and then we created their second user the user id is 2 now i am going to assign the second user to the particular role id 1 because the first user is a super admin he can access all the resources he don't need any permissions or roles now i am going to assign a user to role now i am going to assign a user to particular role now i am going to fetch the data from the role underscore users table select star from role underscore users so look at here the role id is one and then the user id is two because the user id one is the user type is super admin okay we created a two users now i am going to query the two users by using an email id so in this case i mean the spring boot over to security the full stack application i am going to use the email id as their username so everyone should execute so whenever you getting a token from uh, by using a resource i uh, sorry by using an odd server you have to execute this query whether the user record is present or not select star from users from where email id so you have to execute this query this query will check you the record is exist or not so look at here the kite is exist and then the william record is exist if the user is exist then you can go for the user type if the user type is and super admin you can add the default role underscore super admin permission and send the token to end user whoever trying to get the user by using these credentials email id and password but if the user type is a normal admin then you have to check the roles and permissions for this user now i am going to show you how to get the permissions assigned to this user by using this inner join queries you can fetch the list of permissions for the user you can get the list of permissions assigned to the user okay here i provided the email id to fetch the list of permissions so look at here now i'm going to execute this inner query in the where class i use the email id william and then i can get the list of permissions for this user so look at here i assigned all the permissions to this user so i get i got the 13 rows here okay so you can add this list of permissions to the spring security over to role and then you can get send the token to the user and then using that token they can access the resources such as view list of permissions they can create your role the user can create a edit view and delete the role and then he can assign a permissions to role and he can view the permissions by role and then he can create a users edit view and delete the users 
and then he can able to assign users to role and view users by role so these permissions we should add it in the resource server apis i mean every resource such as the permissions so that the token have this permission they can access the resource thank you for watching this video next video i will explain you how to create an authorization server you can find my next video in the same playlist thank you for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel like my videos and share my videos see you in the next video thank you